Okay, I'm going to demonstrate the new um, WASL shared type support in Bridgepoint. So what I have here on the screen is a um, couple of test domains from the SWATS models, and I'm going to use these to demonstrate the shared type feature. So at the moment I have um, in domain A, I have a type in my shared folder or in my shared package called test enum type and this has three enumerators in it. And then in my B domain, I have a type reference type called domain A colon colon test enum type, and this is based on the Mazel type. So this is the typical way um, to represent a type reference type across domains. I have my um, parameter here typed with that type, uh, but the problem is if I were to export Wazzle from this project. It exports OK, but if I go into the output Wazzle, and look in the .typ file, I can see that there's no test enum type output. Um, if I go into the bridge file, I can see that I'm typing my um, parameter with the test enum type, but I have no definition for that in my output um, type definition file. So the way that we're going to attack this problem is to assign this type instead of using Maslow type as the base type, we will assign it to the type that it's referencing. So if I try to do that, the first problem I'm going to run into is that I can't see that type in visibility. So I need to go to my project um, properties here in my domain B and in the XTML project preferences, the inner project references section, I tick this box to allow inner project model references. I can apply and close that. And now when I go to set the type, I can see additional um, types from domain A, and in particular this one here, test enum type in the domain A, domain A shared package is the one I'm looking for. So I hit OK, and now that's typed appropriately. So when I build this project again, I see that the test enum type with the three enumerators has been um, duplicated into the output of my domain B. And that's exactly what I want. Um, this uh, feature requires that we use Bridgepoint Prebuilder. So Prebuilder gathers up all of the model data into one file, including inner project dependencies. And if I go into my project properties again, in my WASL exporter settings, I can see that I have the run Bridgepoint Prebuild box checked. That is checked by default for WASL projects, um, but if for some reason it is unchecked, this is what will happen. I run my build again. And again, I'm missing my type. But if I scroll up in my output here, I can see that I have a warning. And it says no base type found. Um, and it, and it um, recommends that I check IPRs and that pre-build is enabled. So if you're missing a type and you see this warning, um, it helpfully tells you where to look. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate the same thing from the command line, but before I do that, I can show um, where the documentation for this is. So if I go to the help help context or help contents menu, I can get to the Bridgepoint help, and if I go into Bridgepoint UML Suite help reference Mazel, and then XTML to Mazel. This is the um, man page for the command line utility for exporting uh, Mazel. So um, it gives the syntax as well as examples and detailed de um, details about the um, required arguments. So let's go to the command line. I'm going to run this from my Bridgepoint installation, so I have it in my downloads folder right now. Tools, MC, bin, XTML, to Mazel, and if I do dash H, I see the same kind of usage table 
it gives me information about each of those things. And um, so let me do an export here. I'm going to make sure the pre-builder is enabled with dash P. I don't want to format because the formatter is specific to Mazel. Um, the architecture I'm looking for is Wazel. My project is the current directory. The domain I want to export is domain B and I'll output to Wazel 2. I'll we'll run that. It runs the pre-builder first. And there's pre-building. And now it's exporting. And now if I output Wazel 2 domain B um, domain b.typ. I can see that my test enum type has um, come out with those three enumerators. And that's it.